single by choice. I will tell anybody, do not come in here and disrupt my peace. If you're not gonna protect my peace and preserve my peace, I'm not interested. I am open to the idea, but it just has to be right. Sociologist Chris Marsh is the author of the new book, The Love Jones Cohort, Single and Living Alone in the Black Middle Class. It's funny you say that, because I'll, I'll never forget, I think it was my senior year of high school, and my father encouraged me to stay loyal to my career because it'll be more loyal to you than any man. But my mom was on the other side and said, but a career can't keep you warm at night. <laughs> like, yes, a career cannot keep you warm at night, but you got a whole bunch of like heated blankets and stuff. That you <laughs> I'm really trying to offer a structural conversation about singlehood. A lot of times it's left at the individual level. So the way that translates is that black women are just too picky. They need to lower their standards. Oh, Constanta, I push back hard on comments like that because one of the one of the arguments that I make in the book, I, and one of the things I say wherever I have a chance to speak about the book, is that we have to understand how structural forces constrain our personal choices. Put differently, we have to understand how racism constrains our personal choices. Now, to give an example, if I, Chris Marsh, want to marry another Black heterosexual male PhD, my dating pool is constrained. If I want to marry a Black PhD who owns his own home, my dating pool is constrained. If I want to marry a Black PhD that owns his own home, that's making 160000 US dollars, my dating pool is constrained. If I want to marry that same Black PhD who owns his own home, making $160,000 and has estate planning, my dating pool is constrained. What you're not getting ready to do is try to make it seem like there's something wrong with me and there's a personality deficit on my part. We have to expand the conversation and make it a structural conversation. To do anything less than that puts the onus on Black women and we'll have Black women thinking about themselves in very disparaging kind of ways. And I'm not here to do that kind of research. I really am trying to take the onus off of Black women saying, you don't have to carry racism while you're single. Fellas, you ever hear women say, I am single by choice. It doesn't make any sense. Trust me, I know. By the end of this video, you'll know the truth behind women who say they're staying single by choice. So, the man she desires doesn't want her. She can't find men who earn enough for the lifestyle she wants while still having to work and pay significant bills. This woman is average at best, and the men she thinks she can get when she steps out with her BDL, lip injections, breast implants, excessively long lashes, Japanese cherry blossom body spray, everyday waist trainer, lace front, double chin, and French manicure only care to increase her body count. Be cautious of women who are self-improving. They will continue to bust it open. Once she's qualified for you, she'll have her preferred sex position, flowers, restaurants, deal breakers, and at least 10,000 followers. So, translation. I'm slutting till Mr. Right come. Many women say they're single by choice. Then you have Keisha Cole, who just like these females have struggled in their relationships. Keisha Cole has been in many relationships, starting with Daniel Gibson, who's a 38 year old NBA player. Back when Daniel Gibson starred in Love and Hip Hop, the couple got together, started a family and got married. I believe they were married for 12 years, but it came to an end. Then she meets Nico Kali, who's a 29 year old R&B artist. They got together and while living together, Keisha Cole got pregnant yet again. They too started a family, although they didn't get married. This relationship also came to an end. Then she meets football star Antonio Brown, who's 36 years of age. They appear to get into a serious relationship, but it seems like they got into a little bit of trouble and this is what happened. The two have been trending on social media after Keisha posted a couple of lovey-dovey posts to AB. And then A.B. posted a photo of his initials tattooed on Keisha, so everyone thought this was real love. Something must have happened between the two because A.B. hopped on IG Live and said that he was a player and didn't want Keisha Cole and asked her to stay away. After Keisha Cole got his initials tatted, Antonio declared that he doesn't claim Keisha Cole. Females like Keisha Cole expect lover boys to take them serious 
when they're at the top of their game financially, physically, socially and expect them to put everything else on a standby and commit to them even though they're undesirable. Antonio responded with this. He jumped up. I so what know happened with Keisha Cole? Yeah, Cause she... y'all made a, a cute couple. Yeah, but I wasn't trying to be booed up. You know, you older ladies, y'all be wanting to. That's well, not true at all, boy. <laughs> I, I just said. That's not true at all. That ain't true. Don't start that mm-hmm. shit over here. You know, y'all like the you young boys home. and no. shit. Yeah, you a young home. boy that's you know young, young but still wet, I, still we like young boys. Said, but she said it was dry. She cow. Uh, she count. She was singing to you. I mean, you let her write. Yeah, you let did. her write your name. Her, she was your so, name but the on thing her is, why would you embarrass Keisha? I embarrass her. You yeah, embarrass all the black girls. Girl, right, go no, ahead. No. Go let ahead. Let me hear about how I embarrass her. So let me hear. Let me get it straight. Yeah. What, what I did wrong, Miss Tucker? All the black women that I looked up this today. Is, this is what no, you did. You went online. You went online, and you was like, "Girl, it ain't really like that." So what was that about? And you knew she was in love with you. She had a whole tattoo. Some of us be taking that shit too serious. Niggas be telling you like that. Yeah, I mean, you got a pipe. Then Keisha gets into what seems to be a relationship with 25 years old rapper Hunter. Bear in mind, he is 18 years younger than Keisha Cole. They too had problems in their relationship. And this is basically how it went. On April 15, Keisha Cole got on Twitter and told the whole world that the rapper Huncho belonged to her. She tagged him in a post and wrote mine. Now this yes. on the 3rd of May, Keisha Cole deleted her Instagram account after the rapper Glossop posted three pictures of herself and Huncho. Glossop wrote, you know what it is in real life, 4L stinkling. Shortly, things began to slow down. Keisha Cole got back on Instagram and wrote on her story. Him being your sneaky link when you have a man you're about to marry is nasty work. But I wish you all the best on your project, love. I was actually rooting for the video to come out. Keisha did response to Keisha Gloss wrote, my mom taught me to respect my elders. I was with him last night and saw you crying blowing up his phone. Huncho responded again by posting a screenshot of he and Keisha Cole on FaceTime. And after all of that, soon after, Huncho and Keisha Cole was seen and I moved on and he couldn't take it so he reached out to me hurt and wanting to make amends. For he insisted he wasn't happy and the love from over there wasn't genuine. And that the only love he truly felt was from Jericho. Me. Five. He tried to play in both our faces and I spoke up. Six. I am. Hey, bro, we're not tricking unless it's your main female, bro. Hmm. Talking about you, like, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta. That's why I'm. I love, I love, it's my main female. I'm a bitch tricking. But you got multiple, so which one, like, you really rocking with the most? I love, I love equally. We got one. Nah, bro, we gotta find you one. We got family. So how many? Make his own mouth. He loves all of his girlfriends. Yeah, and 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 he loves all of his girlfriends. Yeah, willingly going to commit to her or any other female he's making it known that Keisha Cole and all his other females that we see him with are all the same doesn't matter how old they are whether they're the same age as him or 18 years older than him he is living his best life single just like many men who are also in Huntress position are doing the exact same thing so it's no surprise that he made it known that way. Leaving Keisha Cole very embarrassed publicly. And she's a very well-known figure. And she didn't really take it lightly to what he said. Which is why she posted single as F. And she had a lot to say about it as well. That ain't worked out. So now what? Is you <laughs> Parents. Why do you have to be so messy all the time? It was over before. I was like, wait a minute. I'm definitely about to go out. About to hit the street. I'm about to go step. About to go step outside real quick. Period. Period. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I do need some light. Tell me about it because it's so dark. I am so bad. In town for one night. One night only. You complete me. I hate that damn song. I love you guys. New music. Mm. But yeah, I had a good time tonight. It was really nice. 
I enjoyed my food. Mm -hmm. And now it is time. What is Jack in like six years? But anyway. I'm going to drive the point home. What you're seeing and what I'm trying to show is a lot of average females expect men like Honcho to commit to them in their post prime years basically 35 plus and up and we can see here how Keisha Cole has been struggling since her first relationship since her first marriage there's a reason why all the men that she has been with have all been significantly younger than her if someone like Keisha Cole who is talented above average a celebrity a very well-known public figure who can't even get men in her own environment that she's in that she's worked for mind you with her talent she can't even get men like Hancho to commit to her what makes you think average females with average lifestyles average looks don't even have talent average careers have never even been in the type of environment Keisha Cole has been in not even in their prime years how do they expect men who are in the same position as Hancho or in the highest position they've ever been in their prime years or even older to want to commit to them I don't think females want to actually look at how delusional they sound because if Keisha Cole can't do it then I don't know how the hell any of you average looking females are going to do it let's just be real Keisha Cole in a sense she is above average she's done above average things she's lived above average lifestyles average females haven't and they're looking to get the same man that she can't even get that's delusional